Uh, Al Cash. All right, Danny. Danny, <laughs> give me your best. Uh, give me your best uh, intro for a YouTube video right now. Uh, what's up, guys? Al Cash here, coming at you with another Animal Crossing New Horizons video. Let's check it out, guys. All right, let's check it out. All right, but all right. So bells. Um, you need them. Uh, pay up home loan, anything, shops. Everything in this game uses either bells or nook miles. And nook miles, really no easy way to farm them. But in my opinion, I think bells are more important. And I think I discovered the best way to farm bells in this game. So let me just kind of show you what's going on here. So I'm gonna stro I'm gonna scroll up or scroll up to nook cranny. And as you can see, this is two trips worth. You'll know what I mean by that later. Of going to tours and farming tarantulas straight up. Now, you might think it takes a while to get these tarantulas, but if you know the method, it really does not take that long. All right. So, first thing you're going to need is you're going to need a, uh, what are those voucher things? I forgot they're called. You know, they're blue. Uh, 2k nook miles a piece. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to find out the name right now. All right. Nook miles ticket. Bang. You need this. So what's basically gonna happen is that we're gonna go to a random island and we're going to farm the tarantulas there. And there's a certain method that you can use to catch them and make them spawn much faster. And that's the method I'm gonna be showing you today. In this method, for me, at least yesterday, I went on three trips. So 6K nook miles, kind of a lot depending on where you are. Or uh, maybe you spend them on some stupid grugs or whatever nook selling, but from three trips, I got 700,000 bells. That's really good. That was literally half the money I owned. I, I doubled my money in one in one sitting. So, I'm going to show you how to do it right now. Now, before we go, obviously, you, when you go, you can't come back to your island. So, make sure you don't forget tools, all right? There's a couple very important tools you have, you need. I always bring two nets, um, two shovels, and you should be bringing two axes, but I have a golden axe, so it's not breaking anytime soon. Um, ladder and vaulting pole. These don't matter as much, kind of depending on what kind of island you have, but I would still bring them just in case, and you can always dump them anyway. But make sure you have, make sure you bring tools that do not break, all right? If your tools break, it's game over, you know what I mean? All right, let's talk to this guy. I'll talk to you guys when I'm actually on the island. All right, we made it. And that cutscene takes way longer than I remember, but... Uh, this island is actually really lucky. Um, I'm gonna, not going to be honest. This is Bamboo Island is probably my favorite one that I've got so far for tarantula farming specifically. It takes a little bit to clear out, but um, it, it farms tarantulas really quickly. Now, for those people who don't want to sit through and watch all the details, I can just explain this to you right now. So what you'll be doing is limiting spawn points for other bugs to spawn. So what you're doing, just without going into any details, is you're going to destroy all the rocks, destroy all the trees, including the stumps. So axe them down and get rid of the stump. Pluck all the flowers using Y like this. Do not shovel them or else you will screw up the spawns and pick all the weeds just like that. And you're going to do it all throughout the island. Your island should be very bare bones at the end. So I'm just going to go through this island right now and chop everything down. And I'm going to speed through this footage so you don't have to watch all of it. Oh, wait a minute. You guys see that? <laughs> One already spawned. They do not spawn this early. Alright, I'm gonna catch it. Alright, well, first tarantula of the day, I guess. That was easy. <laughs> All right, uh, that took forever. So by this point, uh, I got the bamboo island. So treat the bamboo like trees. Just chop them down, uh, get rid of the stump, 
clear up the hole. When you get to the rocks, I said you destroy the rocks. You still need to destroy the rocks, but I would always uh, still hit them for eight times. And uh, a lot of uh, this game is, is a lot of people who haven't played Animal Crossing. This is their first Animal Crossing game, so they don't actually know like a lot of these like these tricks where you just like put the two holes like uh, in the corner and you just hit the rock eight times. But I would always do this just because there's a chance of you getting a gold nugget. And wow, I'm getting a lot of iron onto this one. But for me, personally, I leave everything back on the island. You'll see what I mean uh, once I get a little later. But I leave everything on the island besides the tarantulas, obviously, and the iron. Everything else, I remove. And the reason I didn't bring fruit to destroy the rocks is because every single, every single island will have coconuts. At least the ones I've come across. I've not come across an island. Even this bamboo island that has no fruit trees still always has these coconuts, and there's always enough coconuts to break every single rock. So make sure to take advantage of that. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, I'm kind of clean. What? That was fast. We have cleared everything off this island, uh, officially. The only things that are left are the flower stems, because you, you press Y on those, you do not pluck them up, I swear to God. If you do that, you're actually just kinda not in the right mindset, all right? So, now what you're gonna do, your inventory should be pretty full. Uh, you just dump it on the beach. We cleared everything. Now, you might not really understand why we did that, so I'm gonna quickly explain it. Every single plant, in this game does something makes makes bugs spawn all right so rocks for example you saw when i was digging those rocks up uh pill bugs kept coming out of them uh for trees bagworms bees spiders all can come out of those uh when you shake them for example uh, again take up take up the capacity for flowers butterflies stink bugs the the, the, the orange bugs with the face on it they all, they all spawn on those things, right? And you want to make as much space for the tarantula to spawn. So by eliminating rocks, trees, and flowers, you instantly make it easier for the tarantula to spawn because there are just less animals or less bugs that are taking up that space. Now, if you've played any, any game like uh, that has these type of spawns, Animal Crossing works the exact same way. There's a certain capacity. So the tarantula, like the bugs, fill up that capacity and again no, nothing else can spawn so the two things you have to understand is that removing everything makes it easier it makes gives it more space for the tarantula to spawn and the uh and the capacity is still important because while we just cleared everything there are still two extra bugs that can spawn three in total tarantula the wharf roach and the tiger beetle and you need to be scaring those away because they bring your bring this island closer to the bug capacity so, I'll show you what I mean. So, what I would do when I cleared, this is, I'm, I'm right now, I'm starting to catch these tarantulas. And what I would be doing is I'd just be running around the island. All right, here, wharf roaches. These things sell for nothing. So, what you're going to do is all you're going to do is just run up to them and scare them away. Now, it clears, it clears some space for the tarantula to spawn. Oh, and there it is. All right, watch this, guys. All right. Boom. First tarantula, or second, I guess, because I caught that one before. But what you're gonna do is when you run around your island, make sure you check the rocks over and over again. Just make sure you're checking the rocks. Make sure no wharf roaches are spawning. Run around here. We're gonna run. Around. We're gonna. Okay, this is a target beetle right here. There's two of them actually right here. So all you're gonna do is just run, run up to them and scare them away, and they just disappear. Again, creates more capacity for the tarantula. Now we get to the methods, uh, which is actually my town name. Don't worry about it. <laughs> to catch these tarantulas, so there's two. There's two methods then they're used in two different situations so for the first one would be let's find a tarantula real quick make sure we're checking for wharf roaches get rid of those bang they're out i'm gonna check the other rock for wharf roaches they only spawn on rocks by the way wharf roaches only spawn on these rocks okay i almost missed those all right let's see if we find someone okay target beetle scare them out oh oh my god okay i scared it um so this is actually the second way of catching these tarantulas, which I actually demonstrated just now. It's a tech. I don't really know if it's to call it that, but all you do is you turn around and you just throw out your net. Now, one really important thing to, to know about this method is 
um, stock, like when you character when your character dashes and you go to the other direction, you can see that they like they dash, they skirt, right? You don't want this. Like when you look like this, it takes really long to deploy your net. So what you do when you're doing this is you let go of the sprint button, which would be B. So I'll do it right now. Let go, quickly turn around, and boom. You can very quickly turn around and let go of your net. This makes it much easier and the timing to catch these tarantulas becomes much easier. Now, if I can go around and find a tarantula that I don't scare off, it's very nice because I'm trying to show the first method, the easier method. You see the tarantula right there. It doesn't know me. It's, it doesn't know I'm here. It's not aggravated. It's aggravated. So here's the second method. The second method is going up to a tarantula like this. See my nuts out and you you make sure you are going the fastest sneak speed possible okay let's see if i like tilt a little bit you see that i'm walking really slowly this actually does affect when the tarantula will come after you so when you this is the max walking this is max sneaking speed make sure you're doing this it's very important so all you go up to the tarantula it's still here all right you start sneaking i swear to god if it falls in the water i'm gonna be so pissed okay you max sneaking speed you wait till it aggro it's okay you see it's aggro now right so what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk up to it and max sneak speed and then you're just gonna let, and then you're just gonna let go of A right when you see it jump. Boom. That actually, that trench will let me get really close. That's actually really not normal. I'll try to find a better example here. But the point is that technique, it gives you like a second to react, which is a lot. When you really think about it. So that method is, <laughs> the method is really reliable. I still like the second method better. I also end up doing it more because I, am, because I just keep running around like an idiot. But the first method, very reliable, always works. I would, I use the first method like in my town personally because this is a flat island, so it's really easy to just run in a straight line and turn around. Finally, oh my god, that took forever. All right, I finally got a tarantula that's not aggroed at me. Well, completely aggroed, like running towards me. So method one, one more time, just to show you how would it look un under normal circumstances. You raise your net, it's aggroed. You full, full sneak. Right when it jumps, you let go of A. Boom. That was kind of close. I'm not gonna lie, but you get it. You get it literally every time, unless you're like, <laughs> I don't know, uh, unless you're distracted or something, because that method works 100% of the time. But that is really it for this video. As you can see, this is my third trip, so I'm going to be putting it everything down because Nick's journey is closer now. Make sure to like, comment, please share the video. It'd be great if you shared anywhere. I don't care. Twitter, Facebook, gaming, if you're on that, don't care. Just share it. That'd be great. And thank everyone for watching. Hope uh, you guys make some bells.